TIFU by being up front instead of ghosting my lame date. I. 30F. Went on a date with a guy. 31M. Who I met a few days ago. I thought he was cute and he told me how sweet and pretty I was and that he wanted to take me on a date. We went out for tacos and margaritas at one of my favorite taco spots. Throughout the date it felt pretty one-sided as far as I was trying to make conversation and all he wanted to do was get out of the taco place and walk around so we could hold hands. I quickly started to realize our communication styles were completely different and I was not feeling any kind of spark. We got done with tacos and I suggested we go to a spot with board and card games instead of just walking around. He insisted on walking around and holding my hand, putting his arm around me and constantly touching my face until I finally had to demand he stop touching my face. I couldn't wait for the date to be over with. I was relieved after he finally dropped me back off at my car. Today he asked to go to the cinema for our next date and I told him that I was grateful for the tacos and his time, but wasn't feeling it and it would be best to just be friends. He responded with, I don't buy food and drink for my friends you drink two drinks and food I need. $30 back. I don't even know how to respond to that. I'm feeling like I guess I should have just ghosted him. TL. Doctor I went on a date which was a total dud and he thinks I owe him $30 since I don't want to continue dating him. Update. I haven't responded and now he is calling me a scammer and that he knows another guy from the bar I work at that I pulled the same scam on. This is funny to me because this guy is the only person I've gone on a date with that I've met while bartending and he has only lived here for 10 months. He is threatening to talk to my employer about this scam, I am running. This is also amusing as my boss and I are very close and he is the owner of the bar. I've kept the owner in the loop about everything from the start. Before even going into the date. And he thinks it would be hilarious if this guy came to talk to him about my so-called scam. Yeah just block him and move on you didn't foo. You gave him a chance and now he is salty you aren't into him. Set your boundaries and move on. This is a weird one. Guy sounds super butthurt. I'm glad he can't really hurt you with his threats. I buy my friends food and drinks all the time. Such a clown. He's just proving your instincts correct. I really do not like my face being touched either by anyone, so I get you. I would tell him that you're a human being, not a vending machine where you put money in and expect some sort of product back. If he acts like this now, imagine what it's like actually dating him. Oof. I spent $30 on you. You should allow me to fondle you and touch you. Classic entitled opinion of our, nice guys. Damn. Who doesn't want to play board games after tacos? Wait. Dot now I really want a taco and board games date. Sorry about that asshole. Just block him and move on. Block that clown. I would suggest not hopping in your date's car unless you know them pretty well. Have read some crazy stories. Lots of people are saying block him. Don't. Going to your place of employment and trying to get you fired under the guise if a plain lie is. Grounds for defamation. Keep records. And get this dick arrested. That's the move. Go right for face touching on the first date. A $30 scam? Seriously? From a 31-year-old? How were the tacos? Be careful. Sounds like you got a nut. Keep his info handy in case you need to contact the popo about him. Sounds like incel material. Well, my friends do buy me those things. So, thanks pal. 
sounds like he foo, and he sounds like a major creep. You should laugh at him then block him. LMAO. That's funny well if he is demanding this now be glad you dodged that bullet cause imagine if you denied him any form of sex. That could turn out very dangerously. I don't buy food and drink for my friends you drink two drinks and food I need $30 back. You don't take your friends out on dates and stroke their faces like they are your cat either. And expecting me to pay for the privilege of your brushy touch ain't happening. Go away creep. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.